Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, I was in Home Depot, and I had to use this all to help with my mom cut something for Alpha or something like this. And my parents were working on a project, so at Home Depot they had different types of saws. Long ones, short ones, thicker blades, short blades, and I honestly didn't know how to use it. And I would think it would be something simple, and I thought in that moment, what would Papa do? So, can you explain to me <laughs> how to use a saw? Okay, so I remember you that day you text me from Home Depot, and I was like blown away because you had been working in our shops when since I think you were five. And I remember I used to pay you 50 cents an hour until your mother made me start paying you a buck an hour. <laughs> the union. Okay, so <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I couldn't wait for you to get here. The thing that I was blown away with is you've always used uh, chop saws with me and table saws, and but it's always been power saws. And I was a little ticked off because I had never really taken the time to show you how to use a handsaw. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna go into that. You could go anywhere and see all kinds of elaborate stuff. But I wanted to show you a couple of tips and tricks my dad showed me when I was a kid, okay? okay. Um, now, um, there's two types of saws out there, okay? Uh, they'll be called a bunch of different things, but there's Western, which is what they probably had there, or Eastern, mm -hmm. okay? Now you can also say, um, uh, I always call it regular cut versus Japanese cut, okay? The easiest way to remember this for you okay. is push, push versus pull. And this is the way I always have taught people over the years is what's comfortable for you. So I have a couple here. Um, my father uh, gave me a bunch of Japanese style cut saws. Okay, they're wonderful to use, but I don't know what it is. I've always gone toward the traditional push saw. Mm -hmm. And you know what it is? I think it's what I used in the beginning. So you probably at Home Depot saw a saw like this. Yeah. Um, a lot of it was probably made out of plastic. Uh, I have a variety of saws here. This is my dovetail saw I've had for many years. Okay. Um, and this is a recent acquisition, and this is my favorite saw right now. That's for cutting big tenons. Okay. So, in saying all that, this is the typical thing I have to show you is it's really easy to hand saw mm -hmm. or hand cut something but it's how you hold it. Okay. Also, how to hold the work. So you probably saw something like that. It was probably plastic in the trim area of Home Depot. Yeah. Right? And, and they had a, a saw like this. And you probably got a quick measurement on that casing. Yeah. Right? And you made a tick mark like this. Okay? And that's how we're gonna start. I always like to take it right here. And that's your tick mark, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when we get into fine joinery, Big D will learn and I'm gonna show him how to use a knife mark, how to do a perfect 90 degree cross cut. But you're gonna notice something today. I've always had these in different sizes. If we have time, we'll make what is known as a bench hook. Okay. Okay, and I can use this whether I'm using a Western cut or an Eastern cut. Okay, mm -hmm. because it, we're gonna be, and watch, See how that goes against there like this in my hands right here? Yeah. Okay. Now, this is your thumb, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the most important part. Okay. When you hold the saw, this is your handle. That's your top horn. That's your bottom horn. All right. A lot of people just grab it like that. Feel that. And that's probably what you did. I did, yeah. It's uncomfortable. Okay. But remember this. Always take your hand and act like that's your gun. Right? Okay. Okay. Three fingers inside here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your hands here, right? Yeah. But that's pointing. Okay. Believe it or not, that index finger like that will help you keep it in line. Okay. And it's all about getting comfortable with the cut. Yep. I mean, there you're trying to knock something out quick just to get it in the cut and bring it back to the chop saw. Yeah. That's good. I like to position my work, like when I'm cutting dovetails, I have this vise here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a whole different uh, video we'll do <laughs> eventually. But I just wanna show you, it's this. This is your point where it rides on the saw here. Mm. Okay, not on the tooth. No, not but at all. It, it could. Yeah, okay. Okay, if you wanna <laughs> cut your finger. Okay, now you want, this is gonna sound really weird, but that's pretty smooth, feel that? There's sometimes. Really smooth. I'll take a little bit of wax and put it on here. 
but <laughs> when I always go like this and the crook of my nose it sounds funny right but that lubricates it sounds that's that's an old timer technique nice. now if we can get in here Chris see that line there I position this like this now you there's not a death grip on this okay mm -hmm. it's a slight push and I will move that my thumb is walking to the line here okay mm -hmm. and that is where I get started and I start on this push like this see that yeah the first 10 strokes are critical see that I'm not killing it but I'm keeping it in line like this and I'm eyeballing it okay my fence is this brake right here okay so I'm just taking that back lightly and pushing it okay now if I had that line drawn all the way across I would take it and I'd start tilting it this way okay okay but for this we're just gonna keep it like this I'm gonna make this first cut and as I get good at this I'm not killing it I'm letting the saw do its job okay but I'm keeping my whole body here in line just like this okay and we'll have you do it in a minute and that comes out and that's a straight 90 across nice now <clears throat> the thing I want to mention it's practice it's repetition it's practice practice so let's do this for you and I'll make a little tick mark just like this okay you struck that quick measurement like that and I'll get you in there got it yep okay good so <laughs> this looks uh japanese this made in japan yep you would use this as well yes but i want you to take it go ahead okay and push it just push it on it don't pull it push it it's not cutting is it now pull it it's a pull it cuts on the pull stroke so a couple things you got to do watch you gotta put your bench hook like this. It's basically the same thing. Gotcha. You're gonna be holding it like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. Remember that index finger is huge. Yeah. It actually points and it actually keeps you at 90. Alright, now I'm gonna make a mark here, and this is gonna cut on the pull stroke. Okay, so I'm gonna take my thumb, I'm gonna bring it right in there on the line, and very gently. See that? Yeah. And I like to get right in line like this so I can make a nice degree cut. Beautiful. Cool? Yeah. And it's that simple. Okay, so I want you to try this. Let's make that little bit of a mark right here. Okay, same thing. You got it, dude. Nice. Sweet. Okay, now I got a question for you. I already know the answer. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? This one. I knew it. I like okay. that, the pull. Yeah, and there's a couple of reasons in there. I think you watching you, you had more control. Yeah, I did. This is, this blade here is a little bit thicker. Okay. And this is very, very thin. It's also got a nice set to it for cross cutting. And I think you're gonna be a pull guy. Yeah. This is a push guy. <laughs> nice. So there you go.